We are playing is wait that's it. We are playing is it satire. Is it satire? All right, yeah, all right. You guys can clap it up. You can, yeah, you can say yeah, yeah. You can say W. Yep, you can do whatever you want. This is the original game I came up with called Is It Satire, Real or Satire? <laughs> is it satire, real or satire? Whatever you want to call it. Where I will show chats some funny TikToks and reels. Now these TikToks and reels ride a line between what could be considered. Uh, real or satirical. Nowadays, satire has become almost indistinguishable from real life sometimes. I'll show you one video, and then I'll put a poll on whether you guys think it's real or satire. If you guys go above 69% nice. unanimous vote, that'll hold you on that answer. And I'll show you a second one anyway, but I'll hold you on the answer. If you guys do not do 69% or more, then I'll show you a second one, and whatever you vote on that one is the one that actually holds. And then I will show you Proof on whether it's real or satirical. The goal here is not to make fun of people that are actually just cringe or real. <laughs> Although I guess there is some of that because we really were questioning whether they could be satire by them being so cringe or real. But the goal is to have fun with the game itself, all right? That's what we're doing. The other rule is that if I am wrong, which just means if you guys get it right, I'll chug an entire alcoholic beverage up to seven drinks because we're doing seven rounds i've worked very hard this time and by worked very hard i mean bond forger gave me about three of the ones we're going to look at today with their own proof as well thank you bond forger and i did some other ones too but i found we got we got good ones today they're harder now i don't intend to drink all these hey i'm just grabbing four there's no way i'm gonna lose that many times you know i'm starting to think that guy might have a drinking problem <laughs> You think we're the same guy? Oh yeah, then explain this giant comically sized bottle of liquor, huh? That literally proves your point? Shut up. Ad Gunner here to tell you a little bit about why I love using today's sponsor, Aura. Physical in-person crime is so out. No one's doing that anymore. What's hot and fresh now is online crime and you might be a victim without even knowing it. You see, there's data brokers out there who are constantly trying to sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else that may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, health records, and relatives, it's all out there. But Aura shows me which data brokers out there are selling my information and submits opt-out requests for me. 188, 188 data brokers trying to sell me. Kind of flattered, actually. You think they think I'm cute? No, never mind that. Cleaning out my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it also protects me from hackers who could use that information to access things like my social media accounts, my bank accounts, or any other sensitive information. And Aura also has features like antivirus, VPN, parental controls, password management, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download a bunch of different apps. It's super easy to set up, and you get everything you could ever need for online security at one affordable price. No joke, Aura is just something you should have if you're someone who's active online. Just let it run and do its thing in the background so you can focus on whatever weird stuff it is you do online, like watching me. So please value your privacy like I value mine and go to aura.com slash gunner tv live to start your two week free trial also linked in the description box below. That's aura.com slash gunner tv live to start your two week free trial. Thanks to Aura for sponsoring this video and now back to maybe his alcoholism is satirical. Ever think about that? Sure a lot of you guys recognize our first guy here. This guy's been taking over Instagram right now. I'm absolutely locked in when I'm working from home because I always give my best effort and stay focused throughout the day. It's all about being accountable and doing the right things. Okay, now that one was short. So I think for this one, actually, I have two for you as the first one. Gunner's being very nice. I'm giving you two for the first one. Nerves through the roof Nerves. this week. Because like anyone, I deal with a lot of emotions and I'm just a regular person going through a crazy time right now. I love him because he's so relatable. The way he just kind of stares at me while he tells me how he's feeling. That's what I love about him. Okay, is it satire? Round one, start. We're going no on this, not satire. We think it's real. Okay, all right, here's second one, which I'll just show you, but you guys will not be able to change your answer. We're about to be absolutely dialed in going into this monthly meeting. I've been up since 4.30 a.m., energy's through the roof. Someone's gotta drive the innovation and creativity to keep everyone's money safe. Hey, let's get after it today. He reminds me of a lot of like hype beast guys I've met in business school and college and stuff. I think I lived with a guy who was like just like this, except he's talking like them, but his energy in delivery is so much lower than them. I also changed the, the sound effect. I got really tired of that fucking drum roll shit. That sound effect started to annoy me. So, so I changed it to something else this time around. All right, let's play this.
And that is real. This is our boy Davis Clark. And I honestly was on the same page as this comment. I generally can't tell if this is a bit or not. And the more he does it, the less I'm convinced of either option. That's exactly what I felt. So I knew Davis Clark was perfect for this game. It really could be a bit of just some guy who's just kind of delivering it this way. Or it could just be how he really is. And he is exactly like this all of the time. My proof, I wrote on this one, scroll six comments down to this has to be fake. In the replies of this one, this is somebody he went to school with and says, what if I told you he's been the most positive person in the world since middle school? And then Davis Clark responds, Cam, that means a lot. Sorry, how do you talk? He talks more like deep. Cam, that means a lot because you have helped me more than you know over the years. You are changing lives and it's awesome to coach with you now. Now that's just nothing. That's just whatever. It's a little fucking comment back and forth, but it's somebody that knows him. So then I did more digging and I found his podcast. We don't just have one Davis Clark. We got two Davis Clarks. He's got a brother. I started a new role at my company. All right, I'll start FIS, chugging while, while he keeps going here. Company about two months ago. So that's been really great working on longer term projects with clients and being more creative. So getting the chance to think up solutions instead of trying to just solve problems on the fly. Additionally, I've been working towards the chartered financial analyst certification. I passed the level one test back in February and I'm waiting to hear back on the level two exam that I took in November. And to wrap it up, one opportunity that I had this year that I was extremely Start excited yet? about was coaching football. <laughs> Oh boy. At first I thought they were like satirical and now like actually I enjoy seeing them every day because he, he is overwhelmingly positive. Good job on the first one. I thought I would start out to a more success to be honest. I really thought that one would actually kind of get you guys. All right, let's look at our second one. Alpha Dom test time. Which one works better? Walking up to a girl and saying, oh, your eyes are beautiful. You probably have a boyfriend, but can I have your number? Or saying, you seem shy. You probably don't get approached a lot. I thought I'd come over here and give you some attention. Comment below which one you think is correct. All right, you get just the one this time. I think both are really bad, just to clarify, from Alpha Gunner. I think I think both are probably pretty bad. You seem shy. We got kind of a close one here, leaning more towards it being real, but you guys did not hit your 69% majority, which kind of is better for you guys because now you get a little bit more information. L to female translation. Let me teach you. I'm Alpha Dom, a professional dating coach, and I teach you guys how to understand the female mind. On this one, we're gonna go over what a guy would normally say is like, oh, you're being bratty and I'm not taking you seriously. This is how you say it in female. You're talking to them, or they're off to your side. You look at them like this. You're welcome. Come on, you're welcome? Come on, that has to be satirical, no? No, come on. Come on, that has to be a joke. The way he talks, come on, Alpha Dom. It has to be satirical, right? Where's my sound effect? I'm gonna play the entire fucking thing every time. It's real, it's real, you guys got it. And now I'm less and less confident in the rest of these. I was like, damn, I'll get them with this guy for sure. This guy, I, I, you know, as much as we joke about it, I was, I did more research on and I might make a bigger video on for main channel. I know, we just, what's the main channel? He's too arrogant. I just, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, he's a dating coach. I mean, you can go Alpha Dom. He's got a website, you know, the AI fucking upscale image of himself. I mean, the fucking site is so ugly. Oh my God. A transformative video course designed exclusively for men ready to unleash her true potential and conquer the dating game like never before. All of this for $10. What am I buying? I have no fucking idea, but it's $10 to unleash my alpha potential. All right, what music do I put on for my chugs? Jellyfish Jam? Is that gonna get copyright? Nah, you're on to something with that one. Let's get to the third round, if you guys are so confident. <laughs> Here we go. Here's how I'm manifesting the woman of my dreams. I created an energy crystal box that contains all the features I look for in my dream woman. On the inside, I have crushed selenite and blue opaz. On the first of every month, I pour water over dry ice to energize all the crystals inside. I keep the crystal box in the corner of my yoga room. On top, I keep a letter written to my dream woman. 
Behind it, I keep a 639Hz vibration to maximize manifesting potential. I make sure to keep the crystal box covered with a blackout cloth to protect it from outside energy. As far as my day-to-day -day routine, there's three things I do every single day to manifest her. Every morning, I have a 30-minute meditation session where I get into the- This one's gonna be hard for the crystal girls in chat. I mean, you kind of have to defend your own, don't you? And I visualize my life with this woman. The next thing I do is have conversations with AI's representation of her. Ah. I know it's not really her, but it really helps to manifest. Hey, sweetie. How was your day so far? My day was great. I went to the gym for a fun workout and then headed to the park afterwards. We can grab some lunch later if you're down for it. You guys might make fun of this, but I do this every day. I have a lot of free time. Before I go to bed, I put on an amethyst crystal and I write a page of affirmations. I put them under my pillow with the rose quartz crystal on top. And that's how I'm manifesting my dream woman. Thank you for watching. The difficult one with this one is satirical or not. This guy made this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's it's a tough one. <laughs> it's, I mean, I mean, this is this isn't AI. This is real. <laughs> is it satire? A one or two? 80-20. About 80-20. If you think it's satire, you can't believe in crystals or or the moons anymore. Not the moons. What's it called? You can't believe in uh, astrology anymore. If you think this is satirical. If you're an astrology believer and you're saying this is satire, you got to stop believing in astrology. I'm sorry. Those are the rules. You can't have it both ways. If you believe in the moon, you, you gotta say this is real. 80-20, you guys, you guys think it's satire. All right, let's show you the second one. I write letters to my wife every single day. She doesn't exist yet, but I'm manifesting her. One day, she's gonna read all of these letters and I wanna impress her. So I use Quillbot. It's a website that helps you write better, faster, and smarter. I use Quillbot Flow and with the Smart Star feature, I create a detailed outline for my letters. Right now, I'm writing about me and my future wife's wedding. He got a brand deal. <laughs> <laughs> a brand deal manifest uh, sponsorship. That's great. You guys went 80-20%. A lot of other people weren't as sure as you guys. I mean, the top comment is this satire. Please tell me it's a satire. The sad thing is I can't tell. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you guys just like smarter than the general bunch? Because yeah, you know. Yeah, it's satire. Yeah, you guys got it. Good job. I'm 3-0 right now. This is fucking, this fucking sucks. <laughs> I really thought. I had something going this time, and I'm actually devastated. Anyways, uh, before I chug, here's one of him just joking about the crystal stuff in the opposite direction. So he's kind of, he used the same thing. I mean, you've spent this much time, you might as well make as many videos as you can about it. And then obviously, here's like one like, using his real voice. Dude, right one? you can love something and still eat it. Just ask my wife. <laughs> Anyways, obviously he does comedy, so that's my proof. Um, keep keep it up, Sebi TV. <laughs> I'm getting drunk pretty fast here, guys. I'll be honest. <laughs> What is this part of the song? All right, oh, okay, I blacked out. All right, number four, I am 3-0. Can you guys maybe like try losing a purpose? Uh. Just say I play with me again. Drum a hot song on your knees, my jaw's a little open. On the floor where I'm watching, hoping. No, and I want to play a game with me again. The controller's on my knees and I saw you in motion. On the floor where I'm watching, hoping. I'm standing strong in this one. Not gonna say a word. An actual love song. An actual love song. It's close though. You guys are at 73% it being real. Close enough where Gunner will make an executive decision and the second one I show you, I will actually hold the second one. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I changed my mind. Close enough where I will show you a second one and we're gonna re-poll. When you're like a dog whose owner won't love them back. Treat me worse than you treat your dog. You got such a knack for pushing away love. You say that you say you are not good enough, but you're something you make. So what's stopping you? That do anything for you? You're doubling down, really? You're doubling down? It seems real now, but it's satire. I would have said the exact opposite. I would have said this seems even more satirical now. All right, well, you guys are more locked into it now. It might have something to do with the fact that Gunner gave you another shot. Why would he do that if he's already three beers deep, zero three? Why would he be so kind? It's because I was clearly trying to trip you up.
Yep. Oh yeah, you guys might be confused. The, I was playing the um, I was I was playing the sound effects of the gunshots from earlier, not not her songs. I was playing the gunshots. It uh, it sounds similar um, in terms of chaos. Uh, that is unfortunately real. I, I feel bad a little bit when shitting on people's music, but not when it's this to this degree. At this degree, I feel confident just saying, you know what? It's not for everybody, and that's okay. Everyone's got different skills in life. That's fine. It's not shitting on you in a in, in a, you know, your life means nothing. It's do other stuff. <laughs> Try other things. And I will show you what I have for this. She does have uh, Spotify, uh, Malaise, Override, Sync Down on my phone, Bedside Table, Slip Away. The thing that is more concerning is that she has so many live shows. With your hand full of leash and my cold But hey, I mean, fuck it. If you're getting live shows booked, you're doing better than most musicians. Thank you. And people are clapping. You're doing something right, I guess. All right, here we go. Baby Gunner? True. Oh my God. Thanks for reminding me. I have that power. Oh, I'm a little kid drinking again. Oh my God, we need more filters. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I forgot the jellyfish song. Damn it. It's zero four. We have a total of seven rounds. Technically, I'm zero four and I lost, which is crazy because I thought this was the hardest game we had set up so far. The biggest thing for me right now is to get one on the board. I need one. What's our next one? What do we got? Now that I have 1,000 followers, <clears throat> a dance party shall commence. It's raining tacos. From Just kidding. I need to give y'all a name. I tried calling y'all beans, but some of y'all didn't really like it. Terribly sorry. So, what should I call y'all? Drop your ideas in the comments. So, thanks for the followers. Give Gunner one here, guys. All right. Is it satire? Oh, this one's close. Now, some people would say if it's this close, it's bad satire. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of the whole point of the show, right? My whole idea with this whole show is that we've come with some of these so close to not knowing, and finally we've hit one where it really is 50-50, where half of you actually think it's satire and half of you don't. And that's awesome. All right, I got number two for you guys. This is also for Bond Forger. Great find, Bond Forger. Me opinion on the burrito bong. Which means Taco Bell. One of y'all came up to me personally and asked for this video, so. I asked and I receive. First time me old mom and pop took me to Taco Bell, I was this size. Just kidding, that's physically impossible. Back then my order was a easy roll up, easy roll up. And it still is. Now this is the vote that will stand. Is it satire round two? This one will stand. Satire, nobody spoke to her in person. That's interesting. <laughs> Gunner is smiling because he knows it's satire. Also interesting. You're trying to, that's that's the worst part of this game is you guys are trying to read me. You're trying to read my emotions, which clearly I have, I have a, oh, but also maybe I want to drink. So, you know, all right, we're going to know 67%. You guys think this is real. My face, yeah, my face says it all. Yeah, my face says it all. Oh, you fucking idiots. You fools. You bitches. It's satire, baby. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's satire, baby. Yep. Oh, thank God I got one. It feels like I need to reach for a seltzer, and I'm so happy I don't. It is crazy that I don't have to right now. Oh, my God. That is satire. Really good satire, though. Really good satire. My proof? Oh, my God. Super hard to find. So this is an account that was made... Uh, just like three months ago. Taco Cat Backwards is Taco Cat, which also is like the perfect fucking username for an account like this. I cannot find any evidence of this person existing anywhere on social media besides this account. So it's actually really hard to find out whether it's satirical or not. And also, I'm kind of concerned for Taco Cat. This is uh, somebody who has 12.9K followers and their last post concerning Five weeks ago. Fucking break character, please, please, please. And all of their videos are the same millennial core, cringe, whatever. 
start mewing. Oh, uh, now? Meow. 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 I have searched all of their videos to try to find the ones that are the most obvious jokes. That's my proof. I think it's good enough. Here's my first one. Is anyone else completely obsessed with these, like, Jaratas things? Like, yo s obsess. <laughs> Jaratas? Come on. If you think this is the most out of touch person calling Haritos Jaratas. All right, fuck it. I'll give you the break. All right, let me give you one that's so obvious that you, that you can't even debate me on it. All right? All right. Hey, I'm Dilly. I don't own a Stanley Cup. I don't shop at Target. My shelves are stocked with books. I don't wear makeup. I don't eat candy. Toxic. I don't support Starbucks. I don't shop at Target. I don't support Nike or Apple or Lululemon. And as somebody uh, was nice enough to point out, she was drinking from a Stanley in the beginning, Target bag on the bed. Her shelves have no books on them. She is wearing lipstick and eyeliner, has Reese's Pieces on the shelves, has Starbucks drink on the shelf, has Nike shoes on the ground, has Apple products, and has Lululemon bag in the back. This is clearly satirical. There you go. Four one assholes. All right, you guys ready? Round five. Host, if you were a good anime character, would you be good or evil? I would be the good one, but deep inside me, there's a person born of hate and slumbering and trying to wake fuck and slumbering and trying to wake up, but I can't let it. I also didn't block the comments this time. That's on me, but I don't think it really gives you guys too much more info. So I don't know what we're talking about here. What is host? All right, 20, 80%. You guys are hold at that, so you guys think it's real, so we'll show you the second one. See your face when I close what the fuck does host mean? I still don't get it. I don't know what this means. Host, have you tried sushi? I can't get a kiss. And can you make it last to be honest, I did it first. But then as I got to know more and more Japanese food, I became a stick sensei. I probably know more Japanese dishes than the Japanese themselves. Ooh, ooh XD. <laughs> no poll this time. I'm holding you guys to the no. Can we get those sound effects, Gunner? Shoot me. Oh, I got you. Yeah, okay. All right, it's real. You know why you guys got that? It's because you guys are weebs. And you and weaves recognize weaves, and that's all it is. You recognize your own kind, and that's that's on you. That says more about you than them. Proof? <laughs> Bond Forger, I'm gonna throw you under a bus here. Bond Forger for proof said they're German. Just they're German, which I thought hilarious. Great proof. No, but the real proof is uh, in their Instagram stories, which is just like. To a point where you can't be satirizing because there really isn't anything to satirize. If you read and collect manga, then I recommend recommend this one. It's a very good horror romance. Outside of them saying they uh, they might know Japanese dishes better than Japanese, I might check out Darling My Darling. I don't have another seltzer. I really thought when I pulled out four seltzers that would be the max. There's no way I'm going to lose that many times. And it's uh, unfortunate now that that is clearly not the case. Allow me to grab another seltzer. You guys see what I did? I kind of, I kind of swirled it around at the end. Got those extra drops. No spillage. And also with you. 5-1, you guys have done great, unfortunately. And now it all comes to this final battle. I will take this final battle as honestly win or lose. Because I make the rules. So do your best or do your worst, please. Please do your worst, please. The worst, please. More music, baby. I am a woman, no man can top my strength. I turn ripples and tidal waves. I'm a mommy, bitch, a tsunami. I break down walls and the damn can stop me. I am a boss. I am a leader. I will enforce my right to freedom. One out of four weeks out of the month I'm bleeding. You wouldn't know it. I can't be deceived. I wake up with blood smeared on my face like I'm going to war. Call a war pain. Then I go to work. I put on a face Same and a blood? big smile like a face. Okay. I bring a whole new meaning to a pussy. I can take a beating like from a bully. I can't be soft. I just walk it off. And even though I'm tore, I'll come back for more. Take your shots. I won't
don't deflect them, I absorb them. See my collection, see my scars, the ink on my skin. There, the stripes from every win, from all the battles I've ever been in. I was only eight when my father was sentenced to prison. Then at ten, I was tossed in the system. I cut my wrist, but not for attention. You are mistaken, you think you could break me. Nothing as painful as having a baby. It was on all fours, being torn up right. from the inside out. Oh, wait, she's gonna wait me back. Hold on. So precious shit talk, you got a problem. This diagnosis and check your bottom and stick this camera on in your rectum. It's time to get the colon now. Ask a man can talk. I straight that turn. Colon, ask a man. What? I'm a mommy, bitch, tsunami. I break down walls on the damn can't stop me. I am a boss. I am a leader. I will enforce my right to freedom. One out of four weeks out of the month, I am leading. You wouldn't know it. I can't be deceiving. Okay, a couple lines I was a little confused on. One out of four weeks, she's bleeding, and then she says she took the blood and made it war paint? Uh, I'm all kinds of confused. Anyway, what, uh, what do you guys think about it? Interesting take you guys have here. Yes, five votes total, and no, 120 votes total. Here's the second one, not that you guys need it. Yo, this is a 911. It's an emergency, some rep is gonna need those paramedics. Or they'll go from five. I'm lethal with these sounds targeted vital organs with loquacious solid rounds. Don't even try loquacious. to run. My skills, they are incredible. I'll track you like a professional. Don't go prolong the inevitable. I'm here, then gone. I'm hiding in these trees, dropped on silently. Kill you, poop like Houdini. Now you are my victim. Yeah, I get rather sadistic when I start to go ballistic on you pessimistic dishes. Listen. I'm a fucking mystic, sleep on me and you'll go missing Take you out and clear the witness I'm not a ride or a die, I'm a victory or death And that is a fucking fact I go pop, 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 my PX90 for red compact I'm not even aiming when I begin maiming Putting holes in center mass I'm harder now than you'll ever be Even harder than you are erect <laughs> Yo, I only just begun Cracking the pavement Whoa, how'd you know? I'm taking out haters <laughs> one by one Yeah, I tell them Chew them up just like some gum Cause I'm hungry for some yum And I do this just for fun So you can come get some It's an emergency Some rappers gonna need those paramedics Urgently Don't go from fine to done Oh god, that bar of erect hit me So hard Like I am right now Very real But I'm very happy it is I'm very happy it is as well This is Ominous Darth Ominous And uh I, I love her She's great I like her outlook on how people are thinking about this. A lot of viewers uh, watched the watched that video and got secondhand embarrassment. Um, I'll inform you that I do not feel shamed for being raw and human in this video. Um, just just being myself. I'm not ashamed to be myself. And I'm not gonna regret something that I've learned so much from. I am not embarrassed for trying something new and putting myself out there, okay? Um, laugh at me, laugh with me, whatever it is. My content was created for entertainment, and if you are entertained, then I did my job. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. That's what I wanted to end off on. The shtick of my game show quote unquote what we're doing here is riding the line between real or satire. At some level, we're making fun of people that are being real and genuine. And that's not fun when it's in the spirit of being mean spirited. So I love that outlook where it's like, try shit that's new. If it works, great. If it doesn't, it was entertainment to begin with. Darth Ominous, I wish you the best. That is our game of Is It Satire? And clearly you guys want me to chug my fucking drink for the 6-1 loss I took today. Next time you guys are fucked. I swear to God, I swear to God, next time you guys are so fucked. <laughs>